Oh. Hello, and welcome to Carnage Count. On this channel, oh. we count the Carnage in High oh. Fantasy Adventure series. In today's video, we're taking a look at Witcher Season 1. Oh. Oh, yeah. But before me and Geralt get slaughtered by this dragon, and because I love a good slaughter, today's video is sponsored by the mobile fantasy game Raid Shadow Legends. I grew up playing turn-based RPGs like Persona, Final Fantasy Tactics, and Brigandine. My favorite aspect of these games was building a strong team and then setting the combat to auto, so I can just sit back and watch the carnage. To be honest, I never played Raid before this, and boy was I pleasantly surprised at how addicting it can be. Raid Shadow Legends has a fast-paced, team-building experience I need. There are literally hundreds of champions to choose from. The game has endless numbers of artifacts and upgrades. And there's billions of different team combinations. And there's auto mode. Hey, let me show you my team. The first thing that struck me about the game was how well polished it was. You can see that a great amount of time went into designing the characters and the environment. Here, let me show you the champions you can play. The game rewards you with shards for completing dungeons and champion quests. These shards can be used to summon new champions. Currently, I'm digging this elf chick in my party, because she's able to attack all enemies two times, which has saved my butt more than I can count. Even if the shards turn out to be a character you already have, or don't even want, you can sacrifice it to make another card even stronger. Which is nice when you have an unhealthy compulsion to hoard things. One of the coolest things about Raid Shadow Legends is the reward system for dungeons. If you're trying to level up a particular character's skill, but it takes a certain potion, the game won't only tell you which potion you need, but it'll give you a button to go straight to the dungeon. Easy as that. You know, I love dungeon grinding. And something that makes it a whole lot easier is called multi-battle. If there's a particular dungeon that needs a reward I need, I can set the game to automatically go through the dungeon up to 30 times. And I get to keep all the experience and the treasure. One cool little thing is that even if a character dies, they still get the experience. During the month of September 2020, they'll be releasing new updates to balance tons of champions for better PvP battles. And if that's not enough, the Forge is coming, so you can save time and start crafting top quality artifacts and compete right away. So if you want to try it for yourself, check out the link in the description. It's a special link that will give new players 50 gems, 1 energy refill, 100,000 silver, and 1 champion, Executioner. You'll find your extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days. Did I mention it's free to play? If you're thinking about trying it out, now's the time to play Raid Shadow Legends.
3,000 orans. <laughs> Witcher is out the nose. Make some good. You're the one with the wishes. I see no steel here. Come <laughs> on. 
Who is Yennefer? 